Now, normally, this is the this is our our last Derek and George before Christmas, and I would want to get one upbeat. But I thought that this one fit in so well with what we were talking about perceptions mm. of America that I pulled it out. Normally, I wouldn't because it's 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 a sad it's sad. Uh, uh, but I want you to think about this in the context of all the things that we've been talking about with America today, the decline and all the things that we hold dear. Says George, I love to listen to your show. There you go. Listening to Derek and George each Thursday morning gives me joy. Oh, I am a joy. I'm a 28 year old mother of two, and last year my husband was killed by an IED in Afghanistan. Oh. I am furious about the way that this president has treated our military members and their families. He is, in my opinion, an aide to the enemy. My question is this. How do I raise my two young children to believe that the country their daddy fought and died for was worth fighting and dying for when this country is going so far off the rails? What do I tell them? God bless both of you. Bridget, Fort Knox, Kentucky. It's a sad. First of all, Bridget, I want to thank you for your husband's service. Thank you for your service. Uh, to our country, and our our uh, condolences are with you yeah, I, and your family. Uh, but that's the question that that she's asking. How do I say, look, this country that you're growing up in, this is what your daddy died, and 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 you know, so that Phil Robertson can say what he wants. But you know, I, I what do you tell her? What do you what do you tell the little ones as they're growing up? Because cause you know that, that that Bridget will say that, and she's right. This is what your your daddy fought for and died for. The ability to – what do you tell him? This is the country that I, – I, I don't know. It's well, your, first it's of your all, question. I, I'm just trying to <laughs> – That's a tough uh, one, isn't it? Bridget is 28. 28. She lost her husband. And I'm, I, yeah. I'm trying to think when I was 28 and I had three kids and, yeah. and being with – Without a spouse, sure. Period. Yeah, trying now, to raise her. Yeah, trying trying to raise two kids on her own. It comes from with a president who had service, yeah, and a Congress who had just just. I, had, I as I'm raise, aging, Bridget, unfortunately, uh, are becoming more and more cynical. The the beauty of our military, if if we. Uh, this is this is. Uh, it's why I almost didn't do it, but yeah. I thought Bridget well, needed a, a a military that makes its own decisions is way more efficient than our system where politicians make the decisions. Right. But that civilians if you are have right. a military, then you're basically a dictatorship. Right, and that's why our founding so fathers we, decided we, that we civilians have this, and yeah. throughout. And I've gone through this. Since I had a, a friend when I was like 12 years old, his brother got killed in Vietnam, and his his brother did not enlist. He was well, you know, voluntarily sure. uh-huh. drug in yeah. to something you may or may not believe in. If you mm-hmm. don't, you can do CO thing, maybe, but yeah. you get out. But to to attach rel- relevance to what you're doing. Uh, in any job, but particularly in military, and is this, was this, is this, and that's why I always say politicians should put their sons on the field. On the field they, yeah. And that's why I am not. Uh, with Afghanistan, I mm-hmm. was glad we went in there. Initially, I thought it should be a, a one-year bomb the heck out of things, get done what you can, and leave. I do not believe in any protracted engagement of this uh, uh, of this sort. With that said, uh, the 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 young men that have stepped up and and done this, uh, uh, hats off, courageous yeah. young men. Now, how do you? I, I think first of all is is keep the 
is half faith that our country uh, we're not the end all right god is in charge mm-hmm. and if we, we if we keep him in our sights uh all things are possible yeah. now it's hard not to become cynical and it, it, when christ said pray for your enemies unfortunately uh for me uh, I, I would imagine that the president of this country right now mm-hmm. would fall in that arena because sure. I am one that they'll say, well, if you don't support the president, you you you, you want him to fail? Mm-hmm. Well, when he agrees with my premises, I want him to succeed. Sure. But most of the time he doesn't, and he's accomplishing what he said he wanted when he was in the Senate. Yeah, and the country may or may not believe that, but he wanted a weaker America. He wanted an America uh, that stood pretty much in line with European policies. Not a not a strong right, uh, strong America. Now, if you say things like that, you know you will be vilified. Like sure, because you're a racist. I will be. I'm a racist. Yeah. That kind of yeah. thing. Uh, because of his race. How do you communicate to your child? I. Uh, I th- this is so hard. I yeah. think I think you you educate and you history is very important. Mm-hmm. And uh whether someone can look at their son they lost in Vietnam was that worth it? Yeah, that's that's, uh, that's a How yeah, how a do I how do I do that? Bridget, I Yeah. It's, son, it's I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, I that, you that know, one of to, the, to think is is this cause worth it uh-huh. for me to lose my son, or I'm thinking of her without her husband yeah. right now. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you know what I would tell? I, you know what I would tell the kids? I, I would tell the kids this, and I, because I I believe it. Um, it, it. It's 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 what Jacob and I talk about because we bring these questions come up. This whole idea of you know, I don't even want to live in this country anymore. People go into Canada and all those types of things. I And what I tell Jacob is, I say, Jacob, you know what? When we look at that and and we talk about my military service, and he said, you know what, if if you could, because Jacob does not want to go in the military. And and we've talked about that. And and so I tell him, he he asks me, you know, would you go and fight for your country today, even though it's – even though you say, this country's gone off its rocker, would you go and defend it? And I say, absolutely. And and his question is, why? And I always tell him this. I say, you got to remember, America is, uh, America is not uh, the collection of people and, and policies that we have today. America is an idea. It, it, it's an idea of what those founding fathers thought of um when it when it started now has that idea started to change yes but it, you know what it changes with administrations and sooner or later there will be an administration in there and a commander in chief whose ideas are more in line with me just like you know just like you said well that's you, you know that's your hope that's your hope is is, is that it will do that and so i i truly believe that that bridget's uh, husband died for an idea, that idea of freedom. Now, whether everybody in this country ex- respects that uh, that freedom, or respects what he did, uh, to me, that's irrelevant. Um, it, well, yeah, it's it's just tough. Isn't fortunately, it? Fortunately, I think our country right now, uh, unlike Vietnam time, has mm-hmm. the ultimate respect for. Our servicemen, whether you believe we should be somewhere mm-hmm. or not, yes, the fact that these young people have stepped up to serve, mm-hmm. and would I no in yeah. my cynical i I would prefer guys my age go and serve, but then we'd uh-huh. be in for prostate problems or <laughs> some crazy yeah. stupid yeah. thing but uh the the problem I have I'm getting so sick is mm-hmm. is yeah, I have this idea. But who's my boss? Yeah. 
and I will say, Bridget, I I come from a military family. Everybody except my mother and uh-huh. I were in the service, uh-huh. uh, Navy and Marines, and, and and so I I'm I'm a supporter. Although, and I was very close to signing to be in the nuclear program of the Navy, but uh-huh. my brother said we wouldn't get along, me and the Navy. That is <laughs> probably right, but. Uh, I, I, it is very clear that our country has and and will always need sacrifice to remain free. Mm-hmm. The question that will always linger in many people's minds: How best to do that? How best to is do that? the threat of communism, and you see mm-hmm. it from the the forties on, especially with. Uh, uh, you know, Russia sure. through the Battle of World War right. II into Cold uh Was that w- worth what we went through? Is it? And uh, I think it's all in our own mind to – we need to believe that sacrifice is worth it. Now, mm-hmm. is it the right way to go being over here this long? Should we be longer? Should we, like some say, bring them home? I'm mm-hmm. probably more in the camp of I just believe you should go there, do what you can do in a limited time. Don't announce that time, of course, mm-hmm. like we get seem to now all the time. <laughs> oh, by the way, Taliban will be pulling out yeah. in 13. So yeah. if you just want to back out for a while, for a while. and then when we leave, you yeah, things back will in. be fine. Yeah. Uh-huh. Pretty much a yeah. idiot stuff mm-hmm. like that. Uh it, and and that's and that's tough. And I think I think that as Bridget raises her her kids, that that the majority of society, the majority. Now there's always a minority, but the majority of society will will support her and her children in knowing that their daddy died for something greater. Right. Uh, and, and that I, either that either was. It, that may not be right now, but that can't that it can be that the, that we know that that America can be great again. Uh, it just so happens right now we have a leader who does not want that to happen, and so therefore his policies and procedures uh, keep us from doing that, and and that goes at odds against the military because the military's mentality is. Is that we are the best and and the biggest and the bravest and the strongest and 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 coming from the military, I'm very much that. Where it comes down to, just like you were talking about, is the policy of how do we defend the freedom of our country and portray that freedom uh, to to the rest of the world and or protect. Yeah. Well, how do we do that? All. That's, all wars are ugliness. That's and right. So it's you know you're trying That's to think, right they are. You know, from the Civil War, how how did a parent justify the loss? Well, we're mm-hmm. fighting for the union to stay together or mm-hmm. fighting for our way of life, right. Confederate, whatever. Uh one thing I think people should always when you present things to your kids or whatever out of respect present another side. I I appreciate both sides of of many arguments when it comes to war. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's there's just always those those sides. People that didn't think we should be in v- Vietnam. Hey, I respect that. Sure, those I that yeah. agree. I uh, what I I I just don't think we should denounce because respect does not always mean. Well, we tend Agreed. to disrespect people now. Mm-hmm. Yes. Even and and the Republicans are a perfect example of you know Boehner disrespecting the conser- and, the, and, and the those Tea conservative yeah. group Tea mm-hmm. parties, perhaps yeah. disrespecting him. Whatever, mm-hmm. I don't know. But instead of saying, uh, you know, fundamentally we're pretty similar, right. but we happen to pragmatically. Disagree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate both those viewpoints. I appreciate a pragmatic sense that says we need to get this done rather than a uh, an idealistic one. But I also appreciate the idealism that says, no, we can't do this. We've been giving in 
compromising too long, so we need to stay that. So, but I, I think when you present to your your kids, Bridget, you you, uh, mm -hmm. kind of a maybe a open honesty that they they may run into later in with kids growing up, like uh, we shouldn't even been there, whatever. Because right. there was a lot of that with with Vietnam time. I oh, mean, sure, yeah. That you if you served which some you even did not voluntarily, you got calm, and then yeah. you got bashed for doing that. That's right. And again, uh, it's that perception of uh, of just exactly what we're talking about. We have a tendency in America, uh, especially in society today, to not be able to understand or comprehend the idea that I can respect your right to your opinion without agreeing with you. Uh, you know, I can say, you know what? I respect your your right to to believe that way. That doesn't mean that I have to agree with you. And and so what it's turned into now is if I disagree, if we disagree, I have to disrespect you. I have to be disrespectful to you and I have to fight you instead of just like you were saying, I don't agree with you. I understand your right to say it. And and what that does is it stops the conversation, and all we do is the name calling, just like people uh, coming, the, our, our brave soldiers coming back from Vietnam, being called baby killers, and and how could you go over there when some of them didn't even have a choice? They got told to go over there, like you said, got dragged over there, and all they were doing was fighting for their country. Now, if if you don't agree with what the country does, just like with with Bridget, um, many people are go, will say, you know, well, we shouldn't have even been over there. That doesn't help Bridget. That doesn't help uh, her her two children. Um, you know, right. if they're young. Well, and and I guess that's where, uh, you know, I'm I'm going with it too. Mm -hmm. It's just the fact we were. Yeah, we we're, were. We're a we're a republic, and mm -hmm. we're always going to make some right and some wrong decisions, sure. and we will never agree on anything we do 100% that that was either right or wrong. Right. So uh, I, I think it's naive to think that we'll go through through our lives and not have many conflicts and many of them very questionable to some of us. Yeah. Uh, and just to, to you know, to teach your children that there's times just what you said mm -hmm. that it's going to turn around. Yeah. There will be somebody in an office that will make me pre and mm -hmm. and I I've, I've been there already. When I was in high school, the thing not to do was to go in the military. Right. This was this was 3 years after Nam was over. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Carter just been elected president. Things were abysmal yeah. in the the morale of mm -hmm. The military. Yeah. If you joined the military, you were a loser, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And I was kind of, well, if you got thrown in jail, oh, what am I going to do, join the military? Yeah. Totally opposite now. Mm -hmm. But uh, and then it turned around. Reagan got elected. Yeah. And then it, so it and will, peace, I, I, peace, I, peace, I'm peace. hoping, and yeah. that's our faith, yeah. is that there will be someone that will make us a little more Proud. I tend to be a little too small picture with mm -hmm. the president. The worst thing I think of is if I were to join right now, who's my ultimate boss? Yeah, Barack Obama. Barack Obama. I can't your commander that. in chief. Yeah. That's that's yeah. tough. Yeah. But Bridget, we we pray for you. And and you know what? How if, old are her kids? It, Did she you? didn't say. She didn't say in there. They're probably if, like two you know, and four. Yeah. Or yeah. If if your kids come to you someday, if they were to come to me and say, you know, what what happened to my daddy? I would say. You know what? Uh, there are bad people in the world, and at this particular time, your daddy, uh, they they ask brave men to go over there and try and stop them from doing bad things, and that's, and that's, that's what that's what your now. your daddy was was brave. So uh, we will pray for you, and and again, we want to thank you for the service of your of and and as Lincoln said, that last full measure of devotion that your your husband gave, and and not to forget. Uh, all of the sacrifices that, that you have made and will continue to make and your children make the rest of their lives. So uh, I don't know if that's a good answer. Well, uh, but at, it's, at Christmas time, yeah. it's 
it's tough, but the, you yeah. know what greater gift? Yeah. Yeah. They say that a man laid down, down his, his life, life for his fellow man. That's and, right. And you, you know, you, you that's I've done thing. it. Yeah. That's but that's a uh, that's George and I's story, and by golly, we're sticking to it. That's my story. That was. 